So hello guys, in this tutorial what I'll be looking at, uh, you know previously I made a tutorial showing you how this system works and so right now what I want to do right now, I just want to recreate this so that we can be doing this uh, step by step and then, uh, we also be adding some a little bit of uh, more features to the system and that will be it. So what I need to do right now, I just need to recreate a project, let's just call it blogman as it is. But now add some yeah blogman test right blog, sorry about that <coughs> yeah and now for the database I'm not going to create it I'm just going to use the one that I already made so at this point I assume that you already know how to make tables so let's see so I call it blog hello all right, so there we go, and we'll be using font awesome and create that. Yes, I want you to create that, and just in, just so that you don't lose your progress, you just need to save this. But I'm not going to do that. So let's just make a preview. All right, okay. So this is what we have blogman test so also these we just stretched it from the database and everything there so we need to make a nav tab over here stuff like that then we need broad categories already have that so what we need to do is that we just need to minimize most of these things on the, on the side here so what we're just going to do is that first of all let's just create a let me look these are first category all right so the first thing i'm going to do is that you're going i'm going to show you how to make a lookup table so let's go to pages here so what we want we want uh, uh on the blog section here on the categories area uh right over here we want to look up from the categories table over there so what we need to do is that we just need to go to blogs then we go to add page over here then you're just going to head over to categories then click on select then you're going to use this option that uh, source the option list at the source so just look the uh, data table then you're going to go to block category so this is a parent table then do a name label name also order by id then you guys just going to do a deciding and that will be it that's most of like that's that's all we have to do so now let's just come here and as you can see on the categories section now we have the option to look up all this content from there so we created that also so another thing i would like to show you is how to add a, a link on top here so let's go to menu configurations and what we want we need a to add one on the top over there so what we're just going to do we're just going to come here and click there first we need it on the left side then click add and then let's just look for a link that will be going to so let's go to blog categories add so then do this then add your own custom name add category all right so yeah, that will be going to a self and maybe we can pick up an icon and let's put plus okay i like this better okay so do that and now we just need to reload that so as you can see we have it here so just in case you need to change the size of this you just need to come over here menu configuration if you need to change the size of the icon then you're going to click here and put it to what you want let me select that and okay then all right then reload that okay change that all right all right all right all right so let's go uh project themes all right i'm okay with that theme so let's go to menu configurations then broad categories then you're going to pick that and then double click on it then do a reload all right so there we have it uh, so now what we need to do now we just need to add another one here let's just make another one real quick 
and just click here again then click there then what you do is that you're going to blogs add and let's just call this uh, quick post all right so select an icon then let's look for a bolt right so there we have it and then you're going to have to do an ok then reload that ok so that's all we have but in case you need it to be on the right side is what you just need to do just go here and click on nav top nav bar top right then click on add click on that and then you're just going to have to select what you want so at this point we need an option drop down so let's just put it that way and let's call these options right then let's pick an icon let's just call this let's just pick any icon for now let's just call this pick it oh no 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 let's just look for a drop down uh, let's just use this and uh, okay so reload that all right so we have that so we need this to be a drop down okay so let's go to menu configurations then let's go back to options here. Yeah, then you're just going to have to do that. Add that, and then you're just going to do users. Let's go to uh, registration list. So this is where I have my this is where I have my my users stored at. So let's just look for users. right then i'm going to have to save that then reload this yeah and there we have it so here we have it but what we need to do we just need to remove this we, we might want to remove this and also just change the size of those icons so change it to two all right then do that so we need to change this just remove this because we'll just be redirecting to the index so remove that then save it then just uh, sorry about that reload that so there we have it we have the menu so in case you need to add more that's just basically how you'll be doing and that will be all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll be looking at how to add uh, drop downs on this section of the sidebar and all of that so thanks guys for watching stick on till the next one